Hey everybody, welcome back for another super exciting Vesta tutorial. Today we will be actually building a, a doing a surface reconstruction of a pretty interesting perovskite system. It's going to be a cubic structure. I know we've done some cubic structures before, but you know, everyone's different. So, uh, you know, the, I guess the more the merrier in this case. I do have some good news. I finally got my microphone fixed. So hopefully the sound quality is a lot better for everybody out there. And um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and open up our system. So we have a lanthanium, lanthanum, I, I think it's lanthanum iron oxide perovskite. So this is this is actually an unusual perovskite. Haven't worked much with it. Um, uh, usually perovskites I work with might be these like hybrid organic perovskites, but this one's pretty interesting. Uh, doesn't have any lead in it, um, but it still kind of has a heavy atom, I guess. This lanthanum here in the green. Uh, these red atoms are oxygen, and the central iron atom, uh, the central golden atom is an iron. Um, so what we want to do is we want to basically do some surface reconstruction such that the 111, I'm sorry, the 110 face is an exposed face. And, um, you know, you can use this in subsequent, like, you know, surface calculations, absorbates, you know, the, whatever it is you need. And so the first thing you need to do is you need to expose the face, because if you were to just uh, use this unit cell, as it is now, the 110 face is actually one of these internal planes. So first things first, when you, when you look at these crystals, uh, you might notice all these extra like atoms on the outside. These actually really bug me. So if you wanna go ahead and delete these, what you do is you go to edit, bonds, and you can just go in and delete, delete, and then press apply. It's very nice, uh, very nice way to like, basically get, get rid of those without having to go through and manually delete them all. Actually, in a lot of past videos, I went through and manually deleted them all and it took forever, but this is a, a, a much better way. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to basically cut the 110 plane. So how do we do that? So what we do is we first go to boundaries and we're going to expand the unit cell. Uh, because it's a small unit cell to begin with, I'm gonna expand it four by four by four. So we then press apply, press okay. Here we go, so very nice expansion. So I just wanna note that because we use this boundary method, we didn't actually change the unit cell vectors. So if I were to save this as a VASP right now, basically I'd get back my original um, unit cell. So basically no, no changes have registered as far as Vesta is concerned. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press this A button, basically it re-squares this axis here, and we're gonna go to edit, lattice planes. And we're gonna press new. Uh, let's go ahead and select a color that's a bit contrasting and we'll select blue. And then we're gonna actually do the 110 plane because this is the plane we want. Press enter. And you can see this is basically a, some sort of internal plane. And we're gonna set this actually to two, something a little internal here. And then what we do is we actually turn it so that it's perpendicular to, the, to our screen, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we have to find the next periodic replica. The one thing I like about cubic crystals is that it's very straightforward to see where the next cubic replica is. So you can see in this case, it's just this these lanthanum atoms here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a new lattice plane by pressing new. And I'm gonna make it, this a three. Okay, that's one up, so I need to do one more. I'm gonna make it a four. Okay, so now we basically have our cut, or we have this periodicity in this dimension established. So now what we need to do is define a orthogonal um, uh, lattice plane to the 110 plane. So let's go ahead and press new and let's color it a different color. I think orange contrasts well here with the blue. And a perpendicular plane is going to actually be the 001 plane. So go ahead and press enter and we'll make this two as well. And then what we do is we keeping this blue plane um, perpendicular to our screen, we're going to rotate the crystal. Okay. And then what we do is we basically do the same thing where we look for a periodic replica. And so we'll go press new and we'll actually make this a three. Okay, so there it is. There's the periodic replica. And that's why cubic systems are so straightforward. Then we select okay. So let's remember that this blue plane is our desired surface. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut around anything outside the plane. So we'll start with anything outside the blue planes and now anything outside the orange planes. Now what we're gonna do is actually go to edit, edit data, oh sorry, lattice planes. And I'm gonna delete all the planes now. And then select okay. Then I'm gonna carefully rotate the crystal. 
and I'm going to identify periodicity in this dimension. And you can see that it's here. So I'm doing it with respect to the lanthanum atoms. So there it is, there is our new crystal. So now what we need to do is we need to go into our text editor and open up a file called basis change. So you can go ahead and open that up and set up something that looks similar to this. And so go ahead, pause the video and set this up. What we then do is we go back to Vesta and we're going to select the origin. So this is gonna be the origin of our new crystal system. And then what we do is we, we are gonna copy the data. So I'm gonna copy this 112, go back to my text editor. I'm gonna paste it as my origin. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this for every lattice dimension. So I'm gonna define this as my new A dimension. Okay, let's go back. I'm gonna define this as my new B dimension. Okay, perfect. And now I'm gonna define this as my new C dimension. Okay, perfect. Now for these new uh, internal lattice planes, these are, this is basically this A prime, B prime, C prime. This is going to be our, our new unit cell coordinates. And what they're gonna be is basically the old unit cell coordinates or, or these basically relative coordinates in terms of the origin we defined. So we do that by subtracting. So we're gonna subtract this from this, oh sorry, the origin from A, the origin from B, and the origin from C. So uh, one minus one is zero, one minus one is zero, and then three minus two is one. Okay, let's go to the next one. Zero minus one is minus one, 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 minus 2 is 0. Then this final one, we have 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 minus 1 is 1, and 2 minus 2 is 0. Okay, perfect. Save this, and let's go back to Vesta. Now, what we need to do is we need to open up the original VASP file we had. So I'll press Control-O, and let's open it up. And what we do now is we're going to go to edit, edit data, unit cell. We go to transform. And first thing I'm going to do is set all these diagonal ones to zero. And then we're going to actually insert in this transformation, transformation matrix. So we have zero, zero, one. So zero, zero, one. Here we have minus one, one, zero. Okay, perfect. And then one, one, zero. One, one, zero. Now select OK. Yes. Yes. OK. Let me turn off my volume. And press Apply. Now select OK. And perfect. We have now transformed the unit cell. And so let's go ahead and get rid of those, those pesky bonds. Go to Bonds. Delete, delete, apply. OK, so now you can see, and, and let me open the original unit cell again. Okay, so now you can see the B dimension here is this lanthanum oxygen sort of face, this like perfectly cubic lattice. In this case, the B dimension is now has this iron atom and it's the, this is the 110 surface of your, of the, that, that we previously cut here. So you can basically, basically see that this unit cell is now here. And so you'd go ahead and save this as a VASP, export data, save it as a VASP, and uh, you would effectively have your new uh, unit cell. And um, that's it. So thanks for tuning in. Please let me know how this video goes. If you have any comments, suggestions, please leave them down below. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel because I have a bunch of new videos in store coming out. And I think soon we might even be switching softwares. I'll still be doing Vesta tutorial, but we might be doing moving into some new new software. So if you have any new if you have any uh, suggestions about new softwares that I should be you know looking into. Uh, yeah, give me a suggestion down below. Okay, take care.